Now, we are going to talk about the chain rule. So there are three very fundamental and very important rules in order uh, for you to learn in order to do well in differentiation. So the first of all will be the chain rule. The next one will be the product rule as well as then the quotient rule. Okay, so let's take some time to um, understand what this chain rule is all about. Okay, so far what we have uh, discussed so far has been an e equation involving y and x. So for example, uh, most of the time what we are dealing with will be y equals to for example like um, x square okay x squared plus 2x plus 5 for example so there are only two variables here which is uh, y in terms of x so when we say we dy dx okay what are we really talking about is that we are differentiating y with respect to x so we end up with the answer of 2x plus 2 so it's not that difficult to understand what's going on here isn't it okay now for example let's say again we have u equals to 3v squared plus 5v and so on and so forth okay and now instead of y and x we have a function we have an equation involving two variables u and v so in this case if we want to differentiate u we will get du dv equals to 6v plus 5 okay so Essentially, they are the same thing. It's just a change in identity. For example, um, like the y changes to u and the x changes to v. Okay, but everything else remains the same. Okay, so far so good. So this is a very important thing for us to understand at this point because uh, we need to understand that uh, we can always change the letters. All right. So let's move on to chain rule. What is it? exactly okay the chain rule is to help us differentiate for example something a little bit like this okay um, let's say we have 3x square plus 5x and starting to the power of 10 okay so, so let's say we need to differentiate something like this all right and it won't be a very good idea for us to expand this entire thing using our binomial theorem um, so that we end up with 11 terms and then we differentiate term by term it doesn't doesn't work this way isn't it i mean what what if the power is 100 so it, it just doesn't make sense to do it this way okay so let's keep it at 10 okay so at 10 also we're not going to differ expand the entire thing so how are we going to do it okay so what we what we can do is we can let u be equal to the 3x squared plus 5x all right so so that we will have uh instead of y being equal to this entire thing power 10 we could have y equals to u to the power of 10 so this is okay this is easy right because we all understand that we can differentiate y with respect to u so dy du will be equal to 10 u to the power of 9 okay but now this is not the answer that we're interested in isn't it because um, we want to find dy dx which is the differentiate okay which is the derivative of this entire equation so which is y in terms of x and I want my answer in terms of x and not in terms of u so this u is a substitution and this can't be my answer okay so what we can figure out is that well from here we can also differentiate u with respect to x so du dx will give us 6x plus 5 okay so then you may ask well this is dy du and this is du dx uh, both are not quite what I'm interested in because ultimately, at the first place, what I'm interested in is dy dx. So, you you know, I get du dx, yeah, but I, I get du, du, uh, sorry, dy du, yeah, but this is not answering my question. So, this is when um, this thing called a chain rule, the reason why it's called a chain rule is because, right, if you study this three terms three derivatives together you realize you can chain them out together you know, using one very simple formula okay so dy dx is equal to dy du multiplied by du dx okay isn't it because the du over here and this du over here can cancel each other and you actually end up with dy dx all right so this is the so-called chain rule equation and and based on what we have discovered so far 
okay d u y d u is actually 10 u to the power of 9 okay and d u d x is actually equal to 6 x plus 5 okay and uh, now you may ask now i still have an u somewhere right? this is actually not a big deal because we all understand and we all know that u is actually 3x squared plus 5x so all we need to do is to substitute it back in here we will get 10 multiplied by 3x squared plus 5x the entire thing to the power of 9 okay multiply by 6x plus 5 okay at this point you will realize that hey actually this 6x plus 5 is simply the differentiate of the 3x squared plus 5x isn't it so in general when we do our chain rule this is not what we are going to show as our working right because it's already uh, it is too tedious and it, it slows down okay our our solution all right so especially when we're dealing with exam this is not what we're going to do and this is not what we're supposed to show anyway so how are we going to do this well actually in exam most of the time this is what we do okay and actually to be honest most of the student um, don't really quite understand this entire thing but they still can do the chain rule so um, let's try to see what is actually going on when you're supposed to be doing this for exam okay so when you're supposed to differentiate something like this and you know you have to apply chain rule because you you cannot uh, expand this and differentiate term by term okay so what you do is now pretend that this whole thing is an x okay so pretend that it looks like um, it's like a x power 10 okay so so when you differentiate x power 10 of course we get 10 we bring down 10 and the x we, we, we will remain now power 9 so this entire bracket will be the x and there's no change to it okay so this entire thing will be power 9 okay but knowing that this is obviously wrong because it can't be so simple isn't it so all we need to do is to remember that this chain rule we need to differentiate the inside okay so then to differentiate inside we have 6x plus 5 all right which is exactly the same answer that we get here so without all the mumbo jumbo or the nonsense that we're supposed to show here okay we can get the answer actually just in one step okay and of course um, for most of us who don't really care the working mechanism behind the chain rule uh, this is what you can do and you still get full marks because you get the right answer all right